Thank you. Thank you so much. So this research topic that I'm working on is, I believe, um, possibly one of the, the biggest emerging global sustainability challenges of our time because it's literally about our fundamental ability to produce food in the future anywhere in the world. And for example, while every farmer in the world needs access to phosphorus fertilisers, just one family in the world controls three quarters of the world's remaining finite phosphate reserves. And possibly many of you in this room have never heard of this issue before, and that's partly because it hasn't been on national research and policy agendas, again, anywhere in the world. Um, and that's why an award like this is so incredibly important and meaningful, because it really helps raise the profile of this um, very important issue. And as I mentioned in the film, while um, so many were dismissing my and my colleagues' research on this area, and in some cases actually um, ridiculing it, uh, UTS, which is a very future-oriented university, was supporting me from day one and from the research office right through to the, the chancellor and vice-chancellor level. So I'm extremely appreciative of the support from UTS and we have a table over here. Um, and also, yes, thank you. <laughs> And I'd, I'd particularly also like to thank my colleagues at the Institute for Sustainable Futures, um, which is at UTS, um, which are the most incredible bunch of innovators and change makers I've ever met in my life. So to be able to collaborate with them is absolutely inspirational and one of the things that keeps me energised. And I'd particularly like to mention my boss um, at the director of our institute, Professor Stuart White, who's not only been my boss and my supervisor, but the co-founder of the GPRI um, together with me, um, a co-collaborator and also a mentor and a friend. So a huge thank you to Stuart um, and all my, my colleagues. And, and just very finally, um, a, a huge thank you to the literally hundreds of um, external partners and, uh, and other stakeholders we have, both here in Australia, ranging from the CSIRO to um, Rural Industries Research and Development Corporation, through to our international partners in Sweden, such as the Swedish International Development Agency, and across Sri Lanka and the UK and Malawi and Vietnam and so many other places. So just a huge thank you to everyone because it's absolutely a collaborative effort. So thank you.